it's Chusky Rating Channel Man and welcome back to another video. No jokes as soon as I did this, um, it started raining so I'm here on the Minecraft Adventures server. Um, if you guys um, are new here, um, hi guys it's uh, me and I'm going to be teaching you in this video how to get amazing loot like I've got here without even having to go mining or finding villagers. I know for a lot of people, villagers are super confusing, um, mining's quite boring, and this method is a lot less boring. Um, it's, um, in some ways, even better than the villager method, um, but this all depends on what you guys um, think. So, the way this method works is very simple. You get three sticks and two string, which you could easily do in about a day or in your first Minecraft night when the spiders start spawning. Um, and this isn't hard. The next thing you're going to want to do is start fishing. And really quickly, you can get yourselves an enchanted fishing rod. Um, I'm sure you guys know from our latest Minecraft Adventures video, there's a clip where I get Luck of the C3 and Lure 3 in about my second pull. So that is really good. Um, so the next thing you're going to do is get a lot of enchanted fishing rods and put them together with an anvil um, if you can. So this does require a little bit of mining, um, but not much, not nearly as much as you'd have to do for other methods. The next thing you're going to want to do is once you've got this, once you've got an amazing fishing rod, is do more fishing. And you can get some amazing enchanted books like the one I'm gonna put up on screen now. Um, there is a lot of Curse of Vanishing on these, um, but this is fine. Um, and um, if you do get one with Curse of Vanishing, you can easily make a grindstone and de-enchant it for lots of easy XP. Speaking of XP, fishing itself gets you a lot of XP. And once you get a mending on your fishing rod, you're never going to have to use an anvil again, which is a big, big part of this, which is mending books, which you get really often, actually. Um, you go for a fishing for a couple of days, you get mending, get a couple of mending books, and, I'm, and it's free, you don't need to waste emeralds. Um, so this is a really good starter method if you find the villagers confusing or you don't like the villager method or if you just want to try something new. Um, so, yeah. And the final thing, I'm going to show you what happens when you get Fortune 3, which um, we got two of in about two or three Minecraft days. So it's actually an insane method. Um, and I don't think many people are talking about how overpowered fishing can be. So I'm going to show you now what happens when you mine a stack of diamond or all right guys we're on a new copy of the minecraft adventures world and um we're on we're on creative of course so i have myself some diamond ore and we're going to come over to the fishing area over here and we are going to pile up with about a, we're going to get a stack here of diamonds um just to show you guys just how many diamonds this can earn you because you know diamond mining is extremely boring and when you get fortune three you don't have to do it as much um so let me just put my feather falling boots on um just in case um we fall i would rather not die right now um i should probably have an efficiency pick on me instead but i I sold my efficiency book <laughs> to Will, um, so that was kind of a mistake. But you can see, we are getting an insane amount of diamonds um, as we go down now. Um, so, I mean, I I never knew how just how powerful Fortune 3 was until I got it for my, myself and Ted. And you look at the XP we're getting as well, that's another big factor. Fishing gets you an immense amount of exper experience points. I'm over 15 just from fishing overnight, and that's what, five, ten minutes? So combine that with our mob grinder we've got, uh, <laughs> we, we we get XP whenever we want it, basically. Um, so as we come now to the end of our stack, we have nearly doubled the amount of diamonds we've got just by fishing so to sum up this video fishing is pretty overpowered you can get experience points infinite food loads of enchanted books you can multiply our diamonds to nearly double if you're lucky and well that's about it
and it saves you so much time trying to find villagers and try and make any sense of them they're so confusing but uh, so we come up to the end of this video i'd just like to say thank you guys so much for watching if you guys would like more informational minecraft videos like this let me know in the comments um so i hope you enjoyed this because it's a little bit different to what we usually do and i'll see you all in the next one